And as the news of Joe Biden's bowing out of the presidential race travels across the country, people in Rochester are sounding off with their thoughts. As 13 Wham's Daniel Finkelstein spe speaking with people here on the streets of Rochester and has thoughts and reactions of the newest developments. Daniel, good evening. Good evening, Stephen. Many people I spoke to today are still processing this news, but many say they anticipated this happening. Sam Agronik isn't surprised. Just hours ago, he and Americans across the country learned of President Biden's dropping out of the presidential race. I, no, I, I just heard about it about 20 minutes ago. Um, it was something that I kind of felt like it was brewing for a couple of months. He says between Trump or Kamala Harris, he'd vote for Harris, who President Biden endorsed as the replacement nominee. Looks like he dropped down and he's back in Kamala, which... I don't know. Luis Ortiz isn't satisfied with his options on the Democratic side, and he's concerned with Vice President Harris's past as a prosecutor. You know, I'm, 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 I'm approaching this from a minority perspective. Which president's going to go in there and do the best for the minority community? That's the, only, that's the only perspective I can come at it. Max Brown likes Harris as a prospective nominee. I think that's great. I feel like she has a, you know, a touch on the pulse of what's going on. and Others sharing concerns about the president's mental capacity. You just can't really run a country with just like mumbling, stumbling, and calling other group leaders different names, in my opinion. That's just me, though. Given the perspective options, Marisa Giudici and others are looking towards November. I don't know yet. I'd like to see who she selects to be her um, vice president. I think now definitely it will lean me towards the Republican side, in my opinion. I'm going Trump. If it's Trump or Harris, I'm going to be voting for Harris. Kamala Harris's nomination has not yet been confirmed. The Democratic National Convention is on August 19th.